Hey, this is Jinzuru here, and welcome back to Draugen. So, uh, we're starting off day three here. Things are starting to pick up. At least we learned a little bit more about um, what's going on. How are we looking this morning? Uh, not looking too rough. We're looking okay. Looking okay. I have nothing to say today about that. Alright, let's go find out where uh, Lissy is. Lissy! Right up the stairs, Teddy. Okay, so she's upstairs now. Wasn't upstairs before. At least not last night, but, you know, it was about the time to get rid of her bed. I'm upstairs. Ah, she's in Ruth's room. This is her room. Hmm? Are you paying attention? Ruth. Can you imagine? One moment you're living a perfectly happy life, and then nothing. Darkness. Forever and ever. Maybe there's something here that can tell us what happened to her. This is a waste of my time. We might be the only ones left to tell her story, Edward. You're just being melodramatic. I'll help you look. There's still no sign of the Fretlands. Maybe they left town after Ruth died. What's the point of this? I should be looking for Betty. I hate you sometimes. Hmm. All right, all right. Let's uh, start with this picture here. Ruth was an artist. This is very primitive. Have you ever met a child, Edward? She wasn't Monet. She was eight. This must be the village church. That's Ruth and her family on one side of the aisle. Simon and his father on the other. The community divided. You see the anger on their faces, like the expressions. But her, wait, so, at least on Simon's side, they're both angry and upset. Simon's okay. Ruth's okay. Ruth's father is also still upset, but we don't see expression of Ruth's mother. We don't know her emotion from that, so maybe that means she kind of... Tries to ignore it, maybe? She found something. Where's that supposed to be? The cave. Or the... Mine. It could be. But what did she find? Something important enough to draw. Oh, could it be what she found was the reason she got killed? That must be Ruth and Simon's fathers. Perhaps. They weren't on the best of terms. They look like they want to kill each other. To a child, maybe it looked worse than it was. Children are more insightful than you give them credit for, Teddy Bear. Yeah, you can see both the brothers were definitely upset with one another, but the two... Yeah, Ruth and Simon did not want this going on. Like, they got along with each other, so... I'm beginning to wonder if maybe it was one... I'm beginning to wonder if it was the brother that actually killed Ruth. And it just got blamed on Simon. Draugen. Hey, the undead monster from those folk tales you read. What an odd book for a child to have. I don't know. Children love scary stories. This looks interesting. Read some of it to me, please. Read, which one are you talking about? Ah, she must be the book. She looked like she was paying very much attention looking over there. In Norwegian folklore, the appearance of Draugen 
the reanimated corpse of a drowned mariner, heralds death. Draugen haunts the Black Seas in a shattered boat. The beast has a man's body and wears a sou'wester, but instead of a head, there is tangled seaweed, and the revenant's chilling cry freezes mortal blood to ice. Draugen has the power to enter the dreams of the living. If you wake from such a dream, you have been spared, though someone close to you... That's enough of that. It's nonsense, of course. Not something a child should be reading. Do you think Draugen took our boat? Maybe he's out there, on the fjord, waiting for nightfall so he can return to shore No. And... Your soul lacks poetry, Edward Charles Harden. I pity you. <laughs> and more than likely, concerning this uh, particular title, there's definitely probably something to that book. What else do we have? Drawing on the floor. Oh, joy. Ruth never finished this. What does that spell? F-O-R-B. For Banelson. The curse. Who's that figure supposed to be? It's creepy. It looks a bit like the dragon in her book. A figment of her imagination. But the box she drew. It looks like this box under her desk. Really? Let me see. Pull it out. Looks like this box needs a key. Oh, wait. No, it's the one with the latch. We don't need a key for this one. What is this? Uh, I believe this might qualify as actual treasure. Is that Norwegian money? Sort of, but ancient. Viking coins. Are they valuable? Not in terms of monetary value, but historically. Well, they belong in a museum. Looks like Ruth had her own private museum. Why would a child have these artifacts? She must have enjoyed collecting and playing with them. These are much too precious to play with. She should have given these to an adult. She's... She was a child, Edward. To her, they were just... Shiny toys. Wait! The pin! On the doll! This is where it came from. Her collection. But where did she find these treasures? If we're to believe her drawing, perhaps the mine. She may have found a gravesite. Wherever she found them, she wanted to keep them hidden. You think someone found out? These items wouldn't necessarily be worth much, except to a historian or archaeologist. What if this is how... I mean, if someone learned she'd been collecting treasures, they might be willing to do terrible things. I had the same thought. So maybe this Draugen is uh, someone in the girl's mind that wanted to get the treasure from her. There's a story here. The treasure box, the drawings. The overactive mind of an imaginative child. She didn't imagine the Viking artifacts. You shouldn't be so dismissive. The drawings could be her way of dealing with traumatic this events. This is what happens when I read you the principles of psychology. You get notions. You say that like it's a bad thing. Ruth was troubled. The village was troubled, and... Is that a... bell? A church bell. Someone's here. Maybe... Betty. Why would Betty ring the church bell? Perhaps she's in trouble. I need to get to the church right now. Wait, isn't it more likely to be the person you saw the other night? We should I be careful. I told you, I'm not sure that was anything. Come on. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you before you get there. I need a minute to think about... about all of this. Does have a point about, uh... Might not be someone we want to meet. Certainly someone ringing that bell. Do you see anyone? They must be inside the church. Yeah, we're not seeing anyone from this distance. Alright, I'll catch you there. Actually, I wonder 
here if we're gonna... Oh, nice. We can hear it very clearly from outside. I thought that was someone standing over there for a second. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, rush over there. Gonna take this man some, uh, time. He's not as young as he used to be. Okay, if we're gonna get there, I believe we need to go this way. Yep, we're gonna have to go through here. Wait, did we ever... Ah, oh, yeah, those were the other houses. Alright, let's push it, old timer. We got a mystery to solve. I hope this drought doesn't actually exist. Because uh, that's not going to be a good time for me. July 24th. Memorial service. A commemoration of the accident at the mine this past summer. No services after that. Why does it look like it's boarded up? All these fresh graves. Oh. Do you think that maybe no. Betty? No. I'd know. But you wouldn't understand. Elizabeth and I, we have a a bond. God, Edward, your obsession with her is really starting to grate. You can see like, the, the, the distaste in her facial expressions is just, uh, it is on point. Okay, let me stop looking around. Uh, let's find out what's going on here. Why board up a church? To keep the ghosts from escaping? Regardless of how they got past the boards, there's someone in there. Who did this? Someone who'd lost their faith. Gone fishing? God is not here. Well, of course he isn't. You won't find God in a church. God is the wind in the trees, the grass between your toes, the brook that That's runs through. nature, not God. Can you peek through the boards? See anyone? No. Listen, I... the bell. They're still in there. Hmm. Hello? I heard the bell. Oh, this is giving me. I'm a here to help. Jeebies. These boards look flimsy enough to break. All right. Well, before we do that, is there something around this? Completely an ugly dark corner. Let me go where the light is. Okay, there's nothing on the sides, so let's let's focus on the boards. Oh wait, wait! I went right past it. Think you had it in you, old fruit. Be quiet. Oh, well, let's go. Betty? Are you here? Hello? This is Edward Harden. 
Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. Pretty sure you're one. You're that are a strong figment of my imagination. That's just my theory. What's this rope for? The bell. But... No one was... This is the bell we heard ringing? I don't see any other bells. So you have to stand here and pull this rope to ring it? Yes. But there was no one here. You didn't see anyone, right? No. No one. Ghosts. I'm telling you. It's ghosts! So what happened to the hunchback of Grovik? They must be here still. There's only the one exit. Maybe it was the wind. A church bell's too heavy. It can't have been the wind. I mean... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was the wind. There's no one here. Hmm. Well, let's give it a tug. Or fall down on us, is it? I don't like that sound. Please stop. All right, I'll stop. That's uh. Lissy, look. Betty's gloves. They are definitely Betty's. Oh, she got sake. these in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day she. She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Bread sense. Crumbs. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves. Her hat. She's left a trail for me to follow, like Ariadne's red thread. We're not in the lab. Betty will have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. Yeah, I'm thinking that she is like, uh, if she is just a figment of my imagination, she would be my, my reason. <laughs> And right now, we are not listening to reason. What happened here? The sign on the door. God is not here. Their faith was challenged. And it didn't survive. That bell still bothers me. Didn't you say it was the wind? I guess it could have been the wind. Once you eliminate the impossible, etc., etc. What a terrible mess. First the store, then this. What was wrong with these people? They were angry. And afraid. I'm no closer to Betty than I was yesterday. Maybe she never made it to Grovik. Don't be ridiculous. Of course she's here. I found her scarf, her hat, and her gloves. I guess. I'm not leaving until I find some sign of Betty. Whatever you say. Okay, so... It's nothing we need to look at. The final dinner. The last supper. Who taught you about the New Testament? I pick up on things. Most folks aren't heathens, like you. <laughs> tongue in cheek, tongue in cheek. Uh, why I read into that? Hmm. They considered this a sacred place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation and anger. Wait, it looked like there was something else. Uh, yes, I need to be on the other side. Look at the candles. Isn't this a fire hazard? They're not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. There were a lot of deaths. Oh, wait, there's another note up here, but before I get to that. Isn't this a fire hazard? Ah, that's just They're repeating. not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. A <clears throat> I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Old English? I happen to know the verse by heart. Hmm. 
You still manage to surprise me sometimes. That's about it for that. Jesus looks sad. What reason would Jesus have to be happy? Don't be blasphemous. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a contradiction. Heretic. He just contradicted himself. No, not necessarily. I mean, he could take this as an historical document, but not a true historical document. What are you doing? We're in a church. I thought you didn't believe in God. I do believe in civility. <laughs> he, however, is a free spirit, my friend. The church book. A record of births and deaths. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And, uh... Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead... Her name would be in the book. Vandals. They tore it to pieces. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. Ah, they're all on the floor. Good job. How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. Well, before then, let's uh, see what's up here. Unless this is one of the pages. What's that? The last sermon that was held here. What does it say? Uh, the vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher in the language. Uh, hmm. talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive, and move on. Something to the effect of, you sit in separate aisles in God's house. Like Ruth's drawing. I told you, she was perceptive. Hmm. Edward? Forgive each other. It addresses Johan and Frederick directly. You sounded concerned when she said my name. Here. Remember the wedding picture? They were close friends once. How could they allow their grudge to escalate until... <sighs> you call each other traitors, but the only thing you've betrayed are the bonds that unite us. Sounds like Grovik was split in two. Between those who stood by Johan and those who supported Frederick. Because of Ruth? The sermon is from before that. No, this is all about the preceding 20 years of division and disagreements. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed. And that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. Hmm. About right there. We need to find all the pages. Yep, yep, got it. See another page over here. This will make two. I wanted you to find that one. I know what a rotten loser you are. Found another one. You get it. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, there's. I'm not going behind there. There's nothing to see. Was it under the? I don't know. On the floor. This one has Just the most one more so page far. Missing. It's gotta be somewhere. Not between the aisles. I did check up there already. Is it gonna have something to do with this bell? Yeah, yeah, I can still pull it. Stop it! Would be a no. Should still be in here. T 
table is knocked over. Not behind there. Let me go check on the podium again because I wasn't exactly looking for a page when I was up here. Aha! Two for two. A tie. Good job, Teddy. Stop, Old Bean. Lissy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Of oh, horse on. feathers. Stop being so gosh darn tedious, Edward. Betty, 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 will you ever shut up about your precious Betty? Put those pages back in the book, and I'll stop trying to cheer you up. This book goes back years. It lists births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in the cave-in. Someone added the word for Bannelson, probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but... other deaths in the last 20 years. Ruth's drawing and the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. Whoa. Look here. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh, that's dreadful. He drowned the day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. See what's scribbled next to it? Mord? Murder. Who killed it? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? It doesn't say. After the children, a half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. It's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. Primitive superstition. But something changed. After Ruth and Simon. It might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? What does that word say? Next to those names at the bottom. For... For a dar... Traitor. Traitor. Edward? What's wrong? The final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice... What if... Oh, Edward, no. Betty. It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead. She can't be. I'd know. I'd know. Teddy. I need to see the grave for myself. It's not Betty. But Betty's still alive. Teddy? Where are you going? Don't leave me! Edward! You better not be here, Betty. I'll never forgive you. This must be the one here. This one. It's... unmarked. What are you doing? Have you gone completely mad? Edward, stop it! We do not listen to reason, young lady. Elizabeth, I, I, I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty... To hell with your Betty! When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister or like what? that. Or what? Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just... leave me be! Fine. Lucy? 
I called it. Come back. Don't leave me alone. Please. Come back. I need you. I straight up called it. And here come the noises. Uh can we can we can we plug this hole back up? The eyes aren't opening. Oh boy. Lucy? Where are you? Lucy. Alice? Alice, please. Ah, there she is. I was afraid you'd left me. Now listen to me. No! Oh boy. Come back to me. Where are you? He's right here. Let's see. I think you need to start with an apology. Hey. Lissy, please listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I. I... Oh, great. It took too long. Of course you meant it. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, Betty. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Then it's obvious who matters more. I thought she was dead. I wish she was! Don't. You deserve to be alone. Come on, you're my figment. You're all I have left. Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control that too long. me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day. That I'm your puppet. Your little plaything. Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden. I never should have come here with you on this pointless chase. Now, be reasonable. I gotta be quick on the responses. Okay, where'd she go? Going. She either went in the house or she's hiding around here. Wait. Lissy? Oh no 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 no. Alice. No. What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate. How did she say us? Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't. 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 Please. Don't. Don't. No, 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 no. What? No. Oh, Alice, what have you done? Please be all right. Please don't. You make me sick, Edward. Your mother and father would be ashamed. Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. <gasps> don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have, and we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. Do not forget. No, I... Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. Insanity, why his memory so good? I called it. I wasn't sure. 
but there were too many clues starting off. So uh, we're going to leave this here, and then we're going to uh, jump back on this crazy train when we come back.